Why are you here? Whatever, you can't open the door. Well, I'm going to try for, you know, the sake of gameplay, but first, hello everybody, and welcome to The Edwards Madness, created by Sarah Akami. So a very big thank you to Sarah Akami, and uh, pre-warning, I've had this in my subscriptions for a while, and I'm pretty sure I picked this up around <laughs> Halloween. So there's a pretty good chance this is a horror map, so this door that we can't leave. No, it is, it is in fact locked. Okay. Well, that's a good start, isn't it? Uh, we have an incredibly bright light, a single chair, and you. You open, because gameplay would indicate that's where I find a key. Hey, what? Hey, don't take that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I feel it's important progression-wise. Uh, that does, in fact, open the door into the madness. So I suppose you want to see that. Yeah, it, it certainly took a turn. A beautiful garden. Which I was not at all expecting in a horror map. Okay, fine. With flowers. Flowers that eerily follow you about the room. Too bad for... Too bad for you. Oh. Okay. There's the horror element. And the hanging tree also follows you about the room. What is it with sprites in this game? Why are they always so creepy? All the flowers died. Yeah, okay, it's a horror map. Um, Love that visual art style, though. Can we leave this room? I hope so. Yes, it's it's definitely a horror map. Here's the obligatory creepy-ass hallway in an old Victorian-era style mansion-type place. Can I... No, okay, we'll just leave that as it is then. Sure. Um, Typically horribly dark. It's... You... Yeah, no. Uh, let's close that one. Uh, yeah. Okay, fine. Um, yep. <laughs> okay. I <laughs> don't quite know what to say sometimes with these, obviously. Do you work? How funny it is. The door is locked. Locked, probably. Uh, sure. We've been encountering a few of them. Looks like you need to find the key. Oh, I'm going to guess it's in the horrible room. Here, take this. You'll need it. Good luck. Yeah, you want me to go in the room with whatever? Oh, it's them. It's them. It's the Aperture Mannequins. Somehow creepier than ever, cosplaying as the Cheshire Cat. You... Yeah, you're going to be a problem, aren't you? All right, fine. A uh, little office area. Something indicated key. We need to find a key. It's in the drawers. There's a bunch of drawers. Don't trust a single one of them. they all interactable. Gonna have to search every single drawer until the key or the inevitable jump scare, aren't we? Okay, fine. None of them. The ones by you. Sure. No. Also no. They're very, very forceful drawers. And they don't contain anything. Are you interactable to some degree? No, nope, that opens your drawer, apparently. And that opens your drawers, but not those drawers, thankfully. Uh, I need other drawers. You? There's a key. Okay, cool. Then Should have seen it coming. Um, yeah. You're really tall. I don't like that. Please stay there. Yeah. Okay, does this open now? This opens now, right? Yeah, there's another one. Of course there is. They're going to be disappearing. Oh, don't worry about Edward. Why? I feel like we should be very wary of Edward at this point. Uh, go towards the... find the keys first. Sure. This crash test dummy went a little crazy. Yeah, they... they seem to do that in this game a lot. Um, there he is again. I guess he's just gonna try to kill you. Yeah, cuz they're never friendly, are they? Alright, fine, um... Edward? I take it you're Edward, yes? And you're... gonna try to kill me. You, you've left the face paint off this time for some reason. Sure, let's go through the only other option. Into the librarium. Okay, fine. Slightly less creepy in here. Uh, he's gonna pop up at some point, right? Key. Yep, again, what is it with sprites in this game? They're always absolutely horrific. Again, really, really like that art style. Um, Probably should have used the tree, mate. It was a lot more... Uh, you're kind of aesthetic in there, so... Key. Key here? 
Key not here. Key key not here at all. Just breaks that down. Uh, anything else interactable in here? Just nice artwork, which I somehow, again, don't trust even slightly behind. Oh, God. There you are. Hi. Hi, Edward. Just, just gonna... Oh, okay, there you go again. Um, okay. Don't like Edward. Don't like Edward. How about... How about you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, yep. Getting that kind of vibe too, love. Uh... More paintings? This is this... the phone. Hi? Can I do anything with that? No, fine. Uh, this one just just activated the phone. What about this one then? There you are again. And there you go again. Do not like Edward. Do not like Edward even slightly. He is apparently trying to kill me uh what about that what is that there's another painting you you don't scream you, you have a much more happy demeanor about you um okay what do i what do i do with that does this do anything oh that's very much a sticker painting upon me kind of place isn't it can i make him pop up again no all right fine uh let's go stick you to the wall and summon Edward, I guess you got the key. Cool. Okay, so I can go... Nope, we're locked in the library. With approaching footsteps. Okay, Edward's coming. Edward's coming in here. Edward's left. Edward... Edward's left bloody footsteps. Okay, um... Well, did I find the keys? Find the key. Can I open you? There he is. And somehow you've managed to make an aperture of Crash Test Dummy even more horrific looking than usual. Uh, great. Oh, I, I sounded squishy. Um, that was the Edwards Madness created by Sarah Akami. And yes, that did, in fact, quite clearly turn out to be a rather short but horrific in all the right kind of ways horror map so a big thank you to Sarah Akami for that one and further proof that Aperture's mannequins are only ever used for horror purposes they're never friendly are they thank you very much for watching catch you later